what's up what's up what's up everybody so this is actually for all signs this is a video for libra gemini aquarius pisces cancer scorpio aries leo sagittarius and taurus virgo capricorn so this is an all signs video so you literally take whatever resonates from this video and leave what doesn't i do do these like once a month i appreciate y'all and thank y'all so much so let's see what we're going to be starting off with and what signs we're going to be starting off with y'all so we got your commitment is being tested and a new start is coming especially if you're a scorpio we are in scorpio season you could have scorpio in your charts happy birthday to all my scorpio so scorpio this message is starting off for you they're telling you to work through your fears and that nothing will come out of this situation so some of my scorpios y'all are invested into a situation that nothing is coming out of and we got some cancer energy as well so this is a message for my cancers as well so we have you and your loved ones are safe and we got more cancer energy showing up. So this is definitely a message for my cancers. And we have a personal issue reaches resolution. Now we could have some cancers and some Scorpios that are in a relationship as well. And then we got some Aries energy showing up here. So this is the message for my Aries too. So if you are one or all of these signs, definitely take what resonates. So we have it's time to take action. So this could be a cancer or Aries coming your way. And we got some Taurus energy here too. So this is a message for my Tauruses as well. We have prosperity lies ahead. So for my Taurus and my Aries is there is prosperity and abundance in route of you. You got to trust the process right now. And we got some Leo energy. We got don't let your pride get in the way. So don't let your pride get in the way. Let pride be your worst enemy. This is a message for my Leos and my Tauruses. If you're dealing with a Leo or a Taurus, this could be for you as well. So with prosperity lies ahead and don't let your pride get in the way. Don't let yourself be your worst enemy, right? And then we also have be bold and make the first move. We got some cardinal energy here. So somebody could be dealing with a cardinal sign. And we also have you are very close to achieving your goals. And luck is on your side. We got some Sagittarius energy here. So this is a message for my Sagittarius. My Sagittarius is you are very close to achieving a goal. This is the universe letting you know, hey, keep pushing. We're on your side right now. And then we also have some Scorpio energy. So we're going back to a message for Scorpio. We have it's time to release negativity and step outside your comfort zone. We're in Scorpio season, so my Scorpios might resonate with this message a little bit more than everybody else right now. This is the universe basically telling you to step outside your comfort zone, Scorpio, and do something that you wouldn't normally do. And then we also have surrender to the divine, and we got some Virgo energy. So this is the message for my Virgos. It's time to rather give than take. Virgo, you've been taking so much from a situation and not giving, or somebody could be taken from you. You could feel that way as well about someone. And then we also have some Pisces energy. So we got balanced spirituality and practicality. So this is a message for my Pisces. It's at the bottom of the deck. We got adjustments are required. So for those of my Pisces that are trying to get in line spiritually, mentally, or emotionally, there are some adjustments that need to be made. All right, y'all. This is for all signs once again, y'all. So make sure that if you do resonate with this message, any sign, feel free to send a donation. Feel free to comment your sign in the comments so I can know who is watching. If you're interested in personal services, if you're on YouTube, there is more in the description below on the community board as well. If you're on TikTok, then you can inbox me or you can go directly through the booking link. So we got the nightmare in reverse. Somebody could be 23 that's watching and we got the wheel of fate. Somebody got a 10 year old. So some of you, this is like a nightmare that turned around. You were having nightmares. A lot of y'all not having them anymore. Whoever resonates, resonates. Especially if you are an Aquarius, we got the seven of swords, which is Aquarius energy. So this message could definitely be for you. We got some Aquariuses that's been having some nightmares. And we also got the ace of wands. So this is for all my fire signs as well. This is a message coming up for you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We got the high priestess. So with the Ace of Wands and the High Priestess, a lot of y'all are tapping into your spirituality, my fire signs. Now, the High Priestess is water energy. So this could be a message for my Cancers as well. We got the King of Coins in reverse, who was a Taurus. So for my Cancers and my Tauruses, you could be using each other or somebody in this connection could be being used. Especially if you're a Cancer dealing with a Taurus or a Taurus dealing with a Cancer. And we got the sun. So something's being brought to light here. A little bit of Leo energy here. So this could be a message for my Leos as well. We also got the Page of Swords and we got the Ace of Swords in reverse. So a lot of air energy showing up. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So this could be a message for my Leos and my Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It looks like the message 
is to not give up on necessarily what you want. If something's coming to an end, it's coming to an end. You can't stop this ending from happening, right? And then we also have the four of wands in reverse, which is Aries energy. So my Aries is, this is a message for you. What's coming in for Aries right now? We have the six of swords, which is Libra energy. So if you're dealing with a Libra, then maybe you could be on the fist mode with this Libra or this Libra could be on the fist mode with you. You could be going through the process of a divorce or a separation with a Libra or Aries. You could, or, you know, Libra could be feeling that way about you. Aries, you could be feeling that way about Libra. And we also got the magician. So somebody's been doing some spiritual work. Somebody's been doing some spell work in that connection between Aries and Libra. We got some Gemini energy showing up here. So this is a message for my Geminis. We got the four of cups. So for my Geminis or my Cancers, this is a message for you. Somebody's disappointed in this connection, especially for those of my Geminis and Cancers that are dealing with each other right now. And we got the world in reverse. 333 three, three is going to be everybody's angel number right now. And we got the two of wands in reverse, which is more Aries energy. So this message is definitely for Aries. With the world in reverse and the two of wands in reverse, something didn't go as planned. Something didn't go the way Aries thought it was going to go. But this is the universe telling you that things can't improve. We got the knight of coins in reverse. A little bit of Taurus energy there as well. So this is a message for Taurus coming up. And we got the ace of cups in reverse. Some of you could be entering a connection with a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Taurus could be walking away from a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. At the bottom of the deck, we got the nine of wands in reverse. So I do see some of y'all right now are in a situation. This is a Sagittarius energy. So this is a message for my Sagittarius to where you're having to let go of something energetically so that it doesn't pull you back. You're having to let go of something mentally so it doesn't distract you from, you know, what's next or what's coming in your life or the energies that are coming in your life. So let's see what the angel numbers is for all my signs right now. So 555 is going to be all my signs, angel numbers right now. That's indication of reprogramming your soul, release, raise, and reclaim, especially if you're watching this reading around that time. And 777 are also going to be your angel numbers right now. So we got mystical messages, which is indicating to follow your signs. And 888 is also going to be your angel numbers right now. This is for all my signs. We got express yourself. So this is coming out of a cave and speaking your truth. And 444 are going to be your angel numbers as well, especially if you're watching this at that time. So anybody can resonate with this message, y'all. We got transformation. So guess you are going through some type of transformation period in your life. And we got 999. That's going to also be your final angel numbers. So we got aligned with the uh, we got aligned with abundance and then we got 999 again. So yeah, that's definitely going to be my signs angel numbers for today. And then we also have 666. So those are going to be all your angel numbers right now. So if you need to write those down, you might have to rewind the video. We have clearing karma. So everybody, every single sign that's watching me right now is working on clearing your karma. I'm getting this very important for every sign that's watching this video right now. We got the King of Swords, especially my Libra, my Geminis, and my Aquarius. The King of Swords is usually a Libra. So my Libras, this is a message for you. We got the Lovers card. Some of you could be entering a relationship with another air sign, definitely a Gemini. So for those of my Libras and Geminis that are dealing with each other, things could be going to the next level. We have the Two of Wands in reverse. So this is a message for my fire sign, especially my Aries. Two of Wands is usually Aries energy. What's coming in for Aries? We got the Ace of Swords, more air energy. So Aries, if you're dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, there could be a lot of confusion and a lot of combativeness in this connection. And then we also got the Nine of Cups. So we got Wish Come True. Contentment, satisfaction, and emotional stability. And then we also got the three of wands facing forward. So this is a message for my water signs and my fire signs for sure. If you're a water sign dealing with a fire sign or a fire sign dealing with a water sign, it looks like this relationship is something that you manifested. This is finally happening for a lot of y'all. So a lot of y'all asked the universe for this and the universe heard your prayer and gave you what you wanted. And we also have the wheel of fortune. So all my signs... Some of y'all are experiencing bad luck right now. So this is for all of y'all, especially for those of y'all that's going through a tough time in your life, especially for those of y'all that are going through a tough energy in your life right now, especially my fire signs with the four of wands showing up in reverse. More Aries energy, but other fire signs can't resonate as well. So 
This is the indication of conflict with others. It's like you're constantly falling out with people, especially if you're dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This, this could be a broken family. Maybe this could even be a separation or maybe a divorce, especially for my fire signs and water signs that are together right now, especially Aries and Cancer. And we also have the Ace of Wands showing up in reverse. So more fire energy. My fire signs are very bored with someone right now. My fire signs are very bored with the connection. My fire signs are very bored with the relationship. And we got the Empress, especially if you're dealing with an earth sign. So my fire signs could be tired of an earth sign. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, maybe you're just bored or feel like there's nothing there. Now my earth signs, this message could be for you as well because we got the Empress showing up. A lot of y'all are focused on your bag and your money right now. And if you are dealing with an air sign, if you're an earth sign dealing with an air sign, the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, I do see the Six of Swords showing up in reverse. So somebody got some baggage that the other person does not want to deal with. Somebody has some baggage that the other person in this condition is just not for. And we have the seven of cups in reverse. So some of y'all are dealing with a water sign with some baggage. You could be receiving clarity about this water sign. And we got the magician facing forward. So I do see somebody could have did some spiritual work or some spell work. Especially if you're a water sign, you could be doing spiritual work or spell work. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And we got the death card. Especially my Scorpios because the death card is Scorpio energy. So somebody's doing some spiritual work to end the connection. Somebody's doing some spiritual work to end the relationship. This could definitely be a message for my Scorpios. We're going back to that Scorpio energy. And then we also got the four of cups. So more water energy. This could definitely be for my Scorpios for sure. But four of cups is usually Pisces energy because it indicates like meditation. So my water signs could be really big on that right now. And we got the ten of swords. So with the four of cups and the ten of swords, something came to an end. Especially if you're a water sign dealing with an air sign. Things did come to an end. Maybe you manifested something ending. At the bottom of the deck, we got the hermit. So this is a message from my Virgos. This is the universe telling my Virgos. A lot of y'all are soul searching and, you know, big on independence and kind of just being alone and using your inner goddess to get you back. And I respect that, Virgo. But after that, we got the four of five of swords in reverse. So some of my Virgos are holding some resentment towards the air sign. This could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Maybe you feel like you were done wrong by them, especially in Aquarius for a lot of y'all. What's going to be the final message for all my sign spirit? I appreciate y'all and thank y'all so much. Make sure you leave your sign and your birthday in the comments. This is for all signs, y'all. So we got life purpose and ground yourself. This goes to all of you. Right now with this moment, focus on your inner goddess. Focus on what's coming in for you. This is the perfect timing to put yourself first. And we also have child. So this is the perfect time to also put your children first. Your children come before anything. For those of you that are manifesting a child, this could be you having one. At the bottom of the deck, we got steady progress. Things are moving for you. This goes for every sign. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. This goes for all of you. Things are moving, but you have to trust it. I appreciate y'all, and thank y'all so much.